morning guys, hope everyone's doing well. Exciting day today. Michael's here. He don't care about his wheels. I bought a license from eBay. <laughs> Why doesn't that surprise me? Right guys, so today, big day, we're off to Devil Developments to get this thing mapped. So we've had all the hardware put on in the last video. Um, basically we've installed the intercooler, done the silicon hoses, and we've done the four inch track slag downpipe, what Michael did. <laughs> Michael's on for the ride. Michael's basically built this car, so you know, he needs to come and see. He needs to come and see it in action to see what it can, can actually do. So yeah, a little bit, we've, we're nearly there. We're through um, most of the journey now. It's about a couple of hours drive from my, my place. So yeah, exciting. Catch up when we get there. Right, we're here guys. So yeah, basically this is the new unit. So actually they moved pretty recently. And um, yeah, we're gonna be one of the first to experience the uh, new unit. Look at the, oh, look at the, that is just so cool. Look at this bad boy as well. <laughs> if you see that, be worried. That's Ben's Tesla over there. He's come to the dark side. Brace yourself. <laughs> No runs on the hottest day of the year. Probably not the best idea, but hey ho. Oh, Ben's all right. He told me to just get a Tesla and be done with it, <laughs> but then he goes away and comes back in this. He's got a twin turbo conversion on this. Absolutely brutal. Look at it. Amazing. He told me to get a Tesla to be done with it, <laughs> and he comes back in an R8. <laughs> <laughs> Carbon offset. The old um, downpipe's got a nice rose gold colour now. Plugs are going in. Yeah, I made a bit of a balls up. Oh, I was going to get the te Turbo Technics pipe, which had the Turbo Elbow built into it. Um, but I don't know, lots was going on. I ended up ordering the normal racing line pipe, which hasn't got the Turbo Elbow. It can affect a bit, bit of it, but Ben reckons not too much. Might get away with it. Baby OS20, you'll be right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. What's the reason for the uprated plugs then? Uh, it's colder. Colder, yeah. So when you start tuning, the higher ceiling pressures will drop down. Yeah. To a colder plug. Have they got the top bit, as, like the electro covers it better as well, does it? Or no, is that a, a that's standard? 7.38, Ah, uh, okay. You, you don't need that. So just talking to Ben about the future of maybe like electric tuning, because he's just got himself a Tesla. He did say to me, why don't you just buy a Tesla and be done with it? <laughs> what a sensible thing to say, because it's like, you know, 500 plus. How much are those horsepower those Teslas got in? Yeah, it's quite a lot, isn't it? Um, but yeah, you know, as a daily, I think they're, they're great. You're obviously lacking the sound and all of that, but I thought it would be pretty cool to sort of speak to someone that knows a lot about, you know, um, tuning cars whether that would be something that would, you know, tune in electric, could that be something that could happen in the future? <laughs> yeah, so he reckons it is, he reckons it is. And yeah, it'd be quite interesting. Now we're doing, still going. It's dyno time. Yeah, yeah, it does sound good, doesn't it? The last number on the dyno, 279. That's what we got to beat. Getting ready to the first run. So about 248 
horsepower, which is basically taken off the mat that I had on there and put the standard one back on. So it's factory stock kind of thing. So with the extra bits and pieces, I mean, this car was like 220, 230 to start with on a stock mat. So those extra bits like the intercooler and the plugs and the filter, it's taken out to 250 nearly. Which is a pretty good start. That's a pretty good start. Ben's just programming the, the gearbox. Right, unfortunately, got a bit of bad news. Ben disappeared for a little bit and Chris come out and was, was like, right, we got a bit of bad news. Basically, they have tried to flash the gearbox and the, the flashing process didn't complete properly. Now, I know a little bit about this because obviously doing many PCs and doing all that, all that electronic side of things, basically, it's temporarily bricked my TCU. So yeah, not ideal. Um, obviously it can be fixed because it, it's just basically like a, um, you have to use a factory program tool or whatever to actually you know, get, the, get the full refresh on. Yeah, so that's got to happen, but there isn't one in the area. Um, Ben's been running around all afternoon for the last like hour and a half trying to find one. Um, it looks like there's one, a guy in London who's going to bring one down. But meanwhile, it's like, it's like nearly six o'clock and we've got a two hour journey back. So we're not going to wait around here all night waiting for this guy to turn up through rush hour traffic. So Fiona has very kindly offered to lend me a 600 brake horsepower Golf. So <laughs> we're going we're gonna to take that whiz home and let these guys just do their stuff and get it sorted out. And then, um, yeah, come back in a day or two. So yeah, that's the news. It happens, it's the modifying game. So me and Michael, we're gonna get on the way. Yeah, we're, we're a little bit like, oh no. Just, anyway, right. Long day. Long day. Bye bye car. Guess what we're in? This is like the grown up version of, listen to that. Holy. Kidding me? <laughs> That's a different <laughs> that is a different level, isn't it? So this is twin turbo. Yeah. What's it? What's it running about a thousand? Or about a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> it's still got a start stop. This is this has got to feel feel harder than the, the uh, Tesla, though, isn't it? They just feel totally different. Totally different, isn't it? Like yeah. I'm just two hundred and this is three point nine. <laughs> the Tesla's like ten. So yeah. Here we go. Moving up to sixty. Need quite a lot of rolling stones for this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've always loved the R8. So you did all, all of it yourself, didn't you? Yeah, we fabricated everything. Yeah, and AirTech did the charge covers. Yeah. We made all the JD. We fabricated everything else. Yeah. What a project. It's good. The old Mac 2000, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. What a demo, though. Amazing. I'm frightened. I'm frightened of this. Sweet enough <laughs> after, after what's that? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it happens. It's just one of those things. Like, you modify cars, like, you've got to expect things. Once you know? every sort of six months or something, it's just like, like some sort of shit. Ball late. But you couldn't have been in a faster car going around to try and find the bit. <laughs> This can be yours for five miles per gallon. <laughs> Gotta love it. So as you can see guys, I've come back in the Litco Golf GTI Club Sport. Absolutely rid ridiculous. This thing is like 600 and something horsepower. Um, what a courtesy car. Yeah, so that's kind of smoothed me over quite nicely. Um, whilst they sort of get on and do the map. So good news is they fixed the issue um, with the gearbox and yeah, so that's basically going in for mapping now. Um, it's the next day, obviously it's somewhere around 12 o'clock. I'm not sure what's gonna happen yet when we're gonna get the car back today. It's a two hour drive down there. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see, maybe it'll be tomorrow. So yeah, I think this car deserves a separate review of its own. It really is a stunner, it's unbelievable. It drives so well. And it's got a huge amount of power, but it's not, it's front wheel drive as well. So it's not, because obviously it's a GTI, um, but it, it's insane. They've put a big turbo on it. They've done loads of other stuff, inlet, um, manifold, and yeah, a whole, a whole, whole load of stuff more, which I don't, I don't know truly what they've done, but it is an absolute machine. Have a peek inside. It's a bit of a development car. Look at the size of that turbo there. So you've got downpipe, similar sort of thing. I think that is even the same, might be the same as mine. Um, AirTech airbox and obviously intercooler in there as well but yeah it's, it's mainly this is forged this is a forged engine as well which is the reason why they can obviously get so much um horsepower out of it but this is basically the same engine as what's what's in mine so i mean you know this shows you that the limit is just yeah there is no limit and on a front wheel drive car you'd think that this sort of power would be bonkers but i, I literally had like the traction control light come on once um on a on a hard bit of acceleration but yeah, it, it just absolutely grips. It's got some pretty sizable brakes on here as well. <laughs> it's also like the hottest day probably ever today. Like in the UK, it's like 41 degrees or something. They reckon it's gonna hit. It's like already like 38, 39 out there. It's not even 12 o'clock. Absolutely ridiculous. Right guys, so I'm in the club sport. This car is absolutely brilliant. It's, uh, I can't tell you, it's an amazing car. Um, yeah, basically Ben's just given me a message saying uh, the car's done. Uh, they managed to get 339 horsepower um, and, oh, I can't remember the torque. It's a lot, <laughs> it's like nearly 500, it's over 500 newton meters anyway. Put it that way, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I think because of the temperatures, like the intake temperatures um, and everything else, like it's, I mean, it's a 40 degree day. He said it's like, you know, something like 37, 38 degrees down there. Um, so yeah, this, you're never gonna, you're never gonna win against that, that heat. So yeah, it's, it's a solid number. I'm pretty sure with the gearbox map and all that, it's gonna be, gonna be pretty nuts. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting it anyway. And um, yeah, we're probably about 57 miles away. Um, and there's some services there, which I think I'm gonna go. Listen to this though. <laughs> it sounds so good. It's like got like a, it's got a massive turbo on this. <laughs> it's so, it's so intoxicating this thing. results are in so this was what it was kind of stopped it crashed the st sort of standard map back to it didn't it, I think and then it was 248 so I think it's the 220 standard right uh, 230 about 230 and then so then we've got basically 
that's your horse power so that's before and after horse power yeah yeah. I'm back in mine. I'm give it a quick road test to see. Pretty excited. Oh, it's good to be back in this. Oh, it feels a different animal to the to the Gulf. We'll see what what happens here. This sounds pretty really nice. Oh, I'm going in sport. That is already, I can already feel that it's different. That's mad. Jesus. Wow. That feels a lot. Oh, that's pretty good. It feels way more like, Yeah, it feels way more um, like responsive, like it's right there, but the, the, the whole, this is good, this is really good. <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant, honestly. Oh yeah, see right there, when you just, just in, uh, what were we in second? Ben and just slow right down on this bit. Yeah, I love the rev <laughs> the revs. Yeah, so basically like it's full manual now, so the rev limiter, you hit you can hit the rev limiter. Ah, it's like the old school. You can hit your old rev limiter. <laughs> it's taken the limit, the end limit off as well, so there's no, you can just rev it on the, rev it in neutral. It sounds so stupid to say, but it's like what the R8 was doing, but just like not as, just nowhere near as much. But it's still pulling you back. That's amazing, amazing, amazing difference. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Right, I need to get on the road. Get back, get back home. It's impressive, Ben. That's a, that's a world different, like, it feels a lot different, yeah. Right from down low, and it feels like it obviously just carries on as well. Yeah, yeah bigger turbo, it, does, it needs it, it needs it. After driving that Golf, I'm like, nah, <laughs> we'll get that done. Right guys, so I'm back, it's the next day, and I've had a little bit of time, obviously a two hour drive back, which was brilliant by the way. Um, across the South Downs, I had, an amazing little rip with um, with something electric <laughs> and an Aston Martin as well. So it was like three of us in a bit of a convoy around the twisties. It was it's awesome. This thing just picks up speed so quick. I was gapping away from the uh, the Jaguar um, I Pace, just pulling away from it, which you kind of expect because this is super light around the lanes and stuff. You know, it's got more power. I mean, power to weight ratio is higher. It's going to be higher on this than, than that electric thing. So yeah, to summarise, what I wanted to try and, you know, touch on was, is this whole, was this whole escapade worth it? Um, initially, I think, yeah, it's worth it. It's 100% worth it. But what you've got to realise is that with a stage one, you do get a massive gain. And this is well a well-known thing, you know, I'm preaching to the 
to the converted probably a lot of you guys have done been there done it before with a with a stage one stage one is normally just a software map and it just pushes the cars um potential just in increases the car's potential doesn't really stress anything yeah i mean obviously it does a bit but the point is you don't have to sabotage the car you don't have to you know change any hardware in the car you just literally plug it in and depending on what car it is you're going to get a massive gain or not so much if it's a turbo car like this one this is one of the better ones and this is one of the reasons why i bought this car is because you could do a stage one on it and it transformed it into something pretty amazing for very little money um and that is that's the point here like the bang for the buck is huge with this car you can pick these cars up for like 15 you know uh, 15 grand or whatever this one was probably like high you know 20 plus i think i, I paid for this in, in the because it's a 2017 model it's got everything it's got all the extras and, and everything else but basically the point is you can get a cheaper model um these days going for they're going for you know good value stick a map on it and have a really really fast car and have a lot of fun and then sell it and that's absolutely fine obviously stage two you're paying a lot of money and you're not getting as much again if you see what i mean so it's like yeah you know it, it, the value for money gets less the higher you go so what what we've seen is i've probably added like say say 50 horsepower because realistically um you know the air temperatures were, were bad and everything else and it, it was just a bad day to do the tuning but so on my first stage one map it was running about 300 horsepower so you know not bad we don't know that because we never measured it but it probably was around that sort of level that's what they quoted the torque goes up to four 440 or something um newton meters which makes for a really rapid little car like it's a lot quick quick car not rapid quick i've seen rapid now that's that all right that, no that's that's actually ridiculous that all right honestly i can't i can't even believe that that's the fastest thing i've been in period any vehicle um so yeah that, <laughs> that was absolutely awesome but yeah but the point is stage two you're paying a lot of money you're not getting as much again um but it does set you up for stage three and i'm already thinking of this now i'm thinking that since i've driven that golf and seen that all right it's like i need to get closer to that that 400 500 those those numbers there like i mean if this was 400 horsepower, i think it'd be i think it'd be enough like things are going to start breaking if you go any higher i think um although you know ben says 500 is, is kind of you know doable but you know it's and we've seen that golf is like 600 horsepower is totally doable but this is the thing you end up chasing diminishing returns it's just you know and, and the cars you lose the car's drivability as well so there is a sweet spot definitely realize that there's, there's a sweet spot but it it, it's quick like don't get me wrong this thing is fast as fuck but you do I, I there is a little bit i want a little bit more so i'm going to take this to the next stage definitely um ben's going to sort me out something hopefully <laughs> and um we'll see what we'll see what happens but coming to the chase having done all this so far what would i recommend someone coming into this and wanting to do do the same thing again um i'd say 100 percent if you want a little car and you don't want to pay a huge amount of money the tt is awesome four-wheel drive like you've got a dsg gearbox on there paddle shift like you've got a modern display on on the dashboard like these were all the reasons that made me go for this car it handles like like it's on rails um pretty much all you've got to do is lower the suspension a bit and it's 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 almost you know track ready you know it's it's, it's a good good car um but what i would do i'd say forget about your you know don't don't bother going for a generic map don't you know use um what, what i did i mean you can do they were good the service was great everything else but i would go to litco for a stage one basically go to litco for a stage one because the difference is they map the gearbox as well they map the gearbox and the engine together and that whole thing just works in harmony and you get extra things like you know your rev limit um, you can bounce the car off the rev limit if you want to all that sort of stuff um so yeah it's a hundred percent better to get a proper rolling road map done like the guys at litco and, and i i think to be honest i think you, you might get close to the numbers that i've got even without the intercooler um air filter and all the other bits and pieces so you know just just do a really good stage one i think you'd be blown away so yeah waffled on long enough hope you've enjoyed this one guys been a bit longer than normal hopefully it's been a good episode lots has gone on another roller coaster of emotions and i'm sure there's going to be more to come catch you next time